I'm so excited to open our next Magic Delivered. So this is a quarterly box of wizarding gear and it's generally items that are like usable around the home. So I'm always interested to see what is in these boxes and this is the second time that I have gotten this box. I really enjoyed the last one. It was great. It was about um, like divination and such. This is the shirt we got in that one. And uh, I'm excited for this next one. I think it's about the sweet shop, I want to say, if I remember seeing that theme announced a while back. Um, but either way, I'm excited. So let's dive in. Ooh, I see a lot of things happening here. I'm excited. Okay. So let's see, on top we have this, which has our cheat sheet on the back, quick look at that. But on the front, it says, Wisby's Sweet Shop presents Hopping Hot Chocolate. Join our Sweet Tooth Reward Program and get your first mug free. Made from the world's finest amphibious cocoa beans. Well, that's fun. I do like when they have um, like artwork and such on the back of the cheat sheets. Um, I think that that's fun. It's a fun use of space, you know. We're gonna set that aside for later. Ooh, nice. Okay, looks like we have two different recipe cards here. The first is for um, ginger cookies from the kitchen of Ambrose Flume. That looks fun. All right, I do like ginger. And then we have our directions on the back. <laughs> nice, I might have to try to make those. And then we, oh nice, okay. And then we also have the vegan ginger cookies as well. So we have the recipe for the same item essentially, but in a vegan and non-vegan way that's like Larry, there you go. You can see a little better there. <laughs> and then again, our directions on the back. So that was nice. So they have, you know, both options depending on your, you know, dietary needs. So nice. Okay, lovely. Let's set that aside. Next we have our t-shirt. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready for our t-shirt? Okay, <laughs> I like the back already. So <laughs> this is the front. It's one of the staff t-shirts. And so on the side over here, we do have the little, oops, wrong side. <laughs> We have the little logo that says Sweet Shop Staff. And then on the back, we have a large image here that has the same as what was on the back of our cheat sheet, that same kind of flyer, I guess, for hopping hot chocolate. And I think that's really cute. I really like the color of this. I like blue shirts. I think that's a fun design. It does have a bit going on, but it's not like insane or like dissonant. Um, I think that's, that's really fun. And it also has a bit of a retro feel to it. And as always, it is a very nice soft shirt. So I always appreciate a soft shirt. <laughs> All right, next, ooh, okay. So we have this lovely bright green quill. And is it a pen? Looks like this opens at the end. It does. All right, looks like I've got a little cap here. So I'm just gonna Pull that off. Handy dandy divination journal. Let's see if this has better luck of writing than the last thing I tried. Ooh, oh, that is nice. Ooh, it has a very nice, easy write. You don't have to like force it. It just has a really beautiful flow to that. Nice, and it dries pretty quickly too. That's not bad, not bad at all. Okay, I wasn't sure like how good of a pen it would be, you know, cause I mean, you never know, right? In <laughs> subscription boxes sometimes, but that writes really nice. That's a very nice ink flow, I guess. Nice, okay, so we have a lovely green quill. Okay, I can't not open this next one because I have spotted it and I must touch it. That sounds weird, but it's not because it's a squishy soft <laughs> toy. <laughs> And I like squishing the squishy soft toys. It's a plush. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, how cute is this? I absolutely adore that. Um, I 
I really like plushes. I really do. You can't see them because it's way up there. But I have a shelf against this wall beside me and it is just lined, at least halfway down, it is lined with plushes. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, and it opens. Okay, so this is a plush of the um, jelly beans, jelly jinx is what um, jelly beans this shop sells, you know. Um, so these are jelly jinx, highest quality beans in Britain. That is so cute and it has the little plastic open window there and then on the back you have all the details and you have the different flavors of the beans consume at your own risk that is so cute and then it unzips at the top here I'm loving this oh my gosh and then we can actually take out the little beans come here little beans Oh, they're so cute. Oh, this one's sad. Which one are you? Are you grape? No. Oh, it's cabbage. <laughs> it's cabbage flavor. Our cabbage is sad. Oh, poor sad cabbage. And then let's see. This one, of course, this is bat blood. And he's got little vampire teeth. So cute. Oh, I love this one. This is tutti frutti. I love tutti frutti. Tutti frutti so cute his back he's got a little more pink on his back this one is our toasted marshmallow and he's a sleepy bean he's so cute <laughs> this one's bogey and he looks a little concerned <laughs> poor little bogey and then our sherbet lemon seems very happy and excited it's adorable as well oh my gosh oh these are so cute I love it I love it so much <laughs> I I love I just I love plushes I can't help it I love plushes and I think this is so clever and adorable that we got jelly bean plushes I love that so much that is so adorable <laughs> love it may end up being my favorite thing in here funnily enough okay but we're still early. There's still many things in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so next we're gonna go for this beautiful box. Some lovely packaging around it. Ooh, so it is that um, pink and green coloring here. And on the front, we have handmade treats, candy pick, what is that? Pick and mix, candy pick and mix, uh, indulge your sweet tooth. Okay. Ooh, it's a jar. I already like it because it's a jar. <laughs> oh, it is so cute. Oh, I love this. This is adorable. I just, I don't know. I, I love these kind of little jars. It's got the little knob on top and the lid should just pop right off. I'm trying to be careful because holding it a little awkwardly <laughs> in front of me for filming and I do not want to drop this and break it because it is glass. That is, can you hear it? That is glass. Um, but it has a nice little section there to keep whatever's in there fresh. And that is a cute little jar. And it has that same title on the front here, Handmade Treats, Candy Pick and Mix, Indulge Your Sweet Tooth. So it's just a, a jar for mixed candies. That's adorable. I really like that. That's so cute. I have a thing about like jars and boxes that I just really like, like jars and little boxes. I have many of them around my house, more so the boxes than jars because I have a cat. Um, so there's only a few places I can put glass things and not worry about them getting broken. So yeah, unfortunately, um, tis cat life. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got next. Ooh, oh, perfect. Okay, so we have a cookie cutter and it's shaped like a newt so that our ginger cookies that we make, we can make them ginger newts. That is perfect, I love that. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So much, I love that it's, um, the stuff kind of fits together and goes together to, you know, just, it's so fun. It's so fun. Okay, 
we have another box. Let's see what's in it. Whoopsie. That's okay. Ooh. What are you? A little plate? Yes. Ooh, that's a nice thick plate too. It's ceramic, I believe. Yep. It's a ceramic plate and it's nice and thick. Um, not a really thin, flimsy little plate. And that is so cute. It says magical treats. And then it has pictures of all different kinds of magical treats on there. Don't want to cover any of them. <laughs> okay, I love that. We've got all different kinds of little sweets all around. That is so cute. Chocolate mice. Oh, I love that. That is so cute. Adorable. Cute little treat tray. Nice. Okay. Ooh, okay. Here, so cat's getting into things. Looks like we have a little pouch. We have a little zipper on top. And I'm just gonna open up. Ooh, it's like a insulated almost. Not insulated, but it's um it's like a it's like water resistant in here. It's a very slick interior. Ooh, okay. And then on the outside, we have the pattern of all of our different sweets, kind of like the stuff that we were seeing on our plate. So we got all kinds of little goodies on there. That's cute. I like the little ginger newts. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, I got a couple more things here. Ooh, cute. Okay. So we have the Confectioner's Guide to Enchanted Treats and Sweets. Liking the patterns we have here. It has the title on the spine. Oh my gosh. And it has jelly beans printed on the edge of the pages there. How cute is that? That is adorable. And on the back we just have some candies. And is this a journal? Ooh, cute. Same pattern on the inside. It's all the candy jars. And it is, yep, it is a blank journal that you can fill as you wish. So that's cute. And that is a good size journal too. That is, that is a big journal. I know in our last one, we had this little um, smaller journal for the divination box which is still a really cute and nice journal. And this one is definitely a little more portable if you're wanting something to stick in your bag, easier to take on the go, or maybe like keep beside your bed or something. Whereas this one is a like nice, like more full size journal for like these types of journals, you know? Um, I have a number of them on my bottom shelf down here. Um, and this is, you know, about the same size as those, so. Um, I do like that we're getting some variety with the journals, not just in their design, but in the size. So um, this one would definitely be like a kind of sit at home, maybe by my desk or like in the living room and, and jot things down. Whereas the other one might be more of a stick in my bag and take on the go for notes when I'm out and about. So I do like the uh, variation that we get with these. And I think that is so cute. That is so cute. I really like that one. All right, down to our last item. And it is a little sign. How cute. We have a magical sign now serving magical macaroons. Ooh, those are so good. Baked fresh daily, delivered by Al, available. Oh, sorry. Delivery by Al, available upon request. That is adorable. I like that. And I really like macaroons. So, oh. Oh, interesting. It has a little bit of a sent to it um from production i'm sure but funnily enough that's actually kind of nice <laughs> it, you know some things fresh out of production have a little bit of like a plastic smell to them or a little bit of a i don't know just manufacturing smell to them just because they haven't like aired out quite as much um but that one actually is kind of nice i don't know i don't know what it is about Maybe just the color on metal. I don't know, but it almost smells a little bit like a cologne. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, it's, it's not super strong. It's not a super strong smell and it's probably gonna fade, you know, I'm sure now that it's out of all of its packaging and all, it, it 
probably will fade by like the end of the day or within a couple of days. Um, but that's kind of funny that it, it actually smells kind of nice. <laughs> so it does have two holes, one at the top and one at the bottom to assist with hanging this or mounting it somewhere. Um, and it's just a, a little, you know, thin metal sign, very lightweight. So it shouldn't be difficult to hang somewhere. Um, that is really cute. I like that. I like that a lot. I might have to find a spot for that. So cute. I might, um, instead of trying to fit it in somewhere around here, I might try to um, see if I can hang this somewhere in my kitchen. That would be really fun. Cute. All right, and that brings us back to our handy dandy cheat sheet. So we have Sweet Shop Confectioner. Are you making a fuss? Are you making a fuss in there? Do they not want to play with you, Chessie? Huh? Do they not want to play with you? So, Sweet Shop Confectioner, Magic Delivered Spoiler Card. Indulge in magical sweets and treats this month. So first up is our Chocolatier Staff T-shirt. Step into a world where your cocoa dreams come to life with yet another buttery soft exclusive tea. And it is, it's really cute and super soft. I like that one. Then we have our pick and mix candy jar. Sweet or savory, store a stash of treats in this new candy jar. Cute. Then we have our reusable snack bag. Carry a moment of sweetness everywhere you go to fuel your magical adventure. Features artwork by the talented Karen Leopold. Oh, nice. It is really cute artwork. I do quite enjoy that. Nice little reusable snack bag. I imagine with that slick interior that it's very easy to wipe out and clean. Then we have our dessert plate. This snack plate features all your favorite magical treats and is perfect when it's finally time for dessert. Bonus life hack, have dessert first. Illustrated by the amazing Karen Leopold. Oh, I love this one. Bag of beans plushie, the sweetest addition to your stuffy collection. These beans are so cute, you could eat them. Please don't eat them. <laughs> <laughs> well, they put that in parentheses. They are. They are so super cute. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. I love these. They're so cute. Enchanted Sweets and Treats Notebook. Detail all your secret confectioner recipes and sugary ideas in this notebook. Created in collaboration with Vicky from at Forensics and Flowers. It is really cute and really well done. I do quite like that notebook. <laughs> And then to go with our notebook is our sugar feather pen. Transcribe your sweetest thoughts with this metal feather pen. And then our last item on our cheat sheet is the Magical Macaroons Tin Sign. The first of our 2024 Magical Tin Sign series. Hang on your wall or prop up on a countertop. Nice. So that's fun that it's going to be part of a series this year. That's really fun. I can't wait to see what the other ones are going to look like. That's great. And then there were two um, add-ons for this box, which I did not get. The first was the Chocolatier Staff Badge. Pair this with your Chocolatier Staff Tea and you're all set for your first day's work. And then the Candy Shop Candle. Close your eyes and be transported to your favorite magical sweet shop. Brought to you by your friends at Flick the Wick. But that's really fun, and that's also neat that our our recipe cards and our cookie cutter were not included on our cheat sheet. So I guess these were just little magical extras in the box as well. So that's that's fun and neat, and much appreciated. That's gonna be super fun to do. We might, I think we might need to do this. We might need to make some ginger cookies with our ginger newt cookie cutters and uh, try this out. So I think, uh, yeah, I think we're definitely going to do that. So stay tuned. Um, and hopefully later this week, I'll have a short come out of us testing this out and seeing how they turn out. Uh, well, as always, this was a really fun box. I'm really glad I chose this one. Um, it's just, this is so fun. And it's, there's a lot of usable things in here and not just things that are just going to sit on my shelf, which I obviously do like, clearly. <laughs> but um, it's fun to mix it up a little bit, you know, and have a few items that are going to get daily use and not just um, be things to look at, you know, as well. So that was, was super fun. Um, I don't think there was anything in this box that I didn't like um, or that I was like, okay. 
Um, I think I am quite enjoying all of these items. Uh, ice mice, that's what they're called. They're not sugary mice, they're ice mice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was trying to think when I saw them on the other, on the plate, it's like, there's something with mice, what are they? Sugar mice, are they sugar mice? No, they're ice mice. That's what it is. I saw the packaging for the little mice on here and it just triggered my brain. Just be like, it's, it's ice mice. Okay, sorry, back on track. I do think uh, the child inside of me, the plush is my probably my favorite from this box because that is so cute and adorable and unique as well. I'm a sucker for plushes and I really like like strange unique plushes like this that it's just it's so cute I'm constantly telling myself um, that I don't need more plushes whenever I see them places um, I have a dust allergy that I'm currently fighting and uh, <laughs> plushes probably do not help my dust allergy I uh, I am super happy to get a new one anytime that I do so cute I, I love this I adore this I could go on about it it's it's super cute but as always, great box. This is fantastic. I am not regretting getting the magic delivered at all. This is so fun. And I can't wait to try out those ginger newts. That's, that's going to be interesting. Well, I think I'm going to leave this here and actually go make myself some hot tea to help with my morning congestion. <laughs> um, and uh, see about getting some molasses so we can make us some ginger newts later this week. But uh, for now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and leave this here, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye!